you have a reverse osmosis drinking system uh, located under your sink and you are starting to experience problems with the water pressure, maybe the water pressure is real low, or maybe you're not getting enough water out of your uh, drinking system, well, I wanted to share a tip with you. This is your reservoir tank. Uh, yours can be uh, normally they're black or white. Um, and to check this out, you want to make sure that it has the correct amount of pressure. The first thing I recommend is releasing all the water. That's one of the biggest mistakes I see. A lot of people, they try to add pressure to this guy with water in there, and that's the fastest way to break it. So the first thing you want to do is release all the water from here. So you open up your RO faucet, your reverse osmosis faucet, and let all the water come out. And then when it's about to dead, you go ahead and close it. Then you look for the shorter, shorter valve here. This is something that's very similar to what you find on your car or your bicycle. Uh, check it with a PSI gauge, and it should be set anywhere from six to seven PSI when it is empty. Always recommend, uh, I recommend that you refer to your manufacturer guidelines to make sure that it is at the correct PSI, but that's where you wanna start with. And after you double check that, if you're still having issues, you can give us a call here at Garcia Watercare.